How's it going? Eric Cole here from Rural Nest. Very excited to show you this property I have in um, on Big Island of Hawaii. And as you can see, this property is located in the southeast side of the island. Um, the property is in Pahoa, uh, specifically inside the Nana Valle Estates. It's about 20 miles from um, Hilo International Airport. It's right here. And as you can see, it's just a straight shot from the airport to Pahoa. Okay, let's dive in a little bit. Let's switch up the landscape. Uh, this is a beautiful property, you know, inside the Nana Valley Estates. Uh, it's a great community. They really take good care of the, the, the landscape, the property, the roads, everything. And it's only about 10 minutes to the beach as you can see the coastline is right here um, in this area I believe you can you can launch your boat so if you're into deep sea fishing and stuff like that this is where you can launch your boat a uh, couple surf spots um, in the area pretty popular in the local community uh, tons of parks and beaches as you can see and lots of um, outdoor activities you know hiking trails and you know, pretty much everything that you can think of, it's all surrounded by, um, in this area. Um, all right, so let's dive in a little bit and, um, and see what we can, let's see. All right, so the property is right here. It's on, um, Ginger Road and, uh, Flower Road. Let's switch back to the grid system. All right, so you can kind of see the shape of the property here. It's a rectangular shape. It's 8,042 square feet, I believe. So let's see if we can um, see a street view from here. All right, so here we go. Nice palm trees. So this is the road. We're on Flower Road right now. And this is the entrance to the property. As you can see, tons of trees. Very lush, tropical uh, landscape. All right. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a really beautiful property. You see the power line right here? So there's power on, on the street. It's even on Flower Road wrote it as well so yeah it's a it's a pretty good property um, oh yeah there's a house right here so yeah this is this is pretty much the surrounding of um, of this property okay let's dive into um, the website okay all right so you know this property it's um, HI002 property ID um, it's great because, uh, you know, this property, this community actually has a um, community swimming pool, um, recreation center, clubhouse, and they do lots of community events and charity work, especially during the holidays. So, you know, if you're into that kind of stuff, it's great. If not, you know, you can, you can still keep it private and enjoy yourself in your little lush um, home. And um, right here. Um, let's click on this. This is the community, the Nana Valley Community Association website. If you have any questions about, you know, uh, what can you build on there and things like that, contact them directly because they will have the best answer. And what I can tell you though, it's um, they're very relaxed. And in fact, there is, you can actually click on here It'll tell you pretty much everything about what what you can do and what you cannot do. Um, like I said, they're pretty relaxed, but if you have any questions, contact them directly. Okay, so let's talk about the highlights of this property. You know, like I said, it's about 10 minutes from the beach. Um, it's approximately, approximately 8,040 square feet. And it's located in the Nana Valle Estate subdivision. Um, there's power poles on, on the streets for easy connections. And um, yeah, and then there's a lot of restaurants and um, general stores in the area. 
in um, Pahoa. So I switch back to the maps. So right here, tons of restaurants in this area. Let's see if you can pull it up. All right, so you can see tons of restaurants in Pahoa and it's only minutes away from the property. Okay, properties right here. It's just a straight shot in flower forest and then all, everything is here. All right, so, you know, many restaurants, um, grocery stores, minutes to Pahoa downtown, um, roads are maintained by Nana Valley Community Association, nearby parks and beaches, lots of outdoor activities, and, you know, pretty much everything that we covered earlier. And right here, I want to talk about this a little bit more. The most recent sales sold for $15,000. Let's take a look at the comps. So these are the properties in Nanavare that were sold for $15,000. And it was in June uh, this year. Okay. And it's about only half a mile away. Okay. And then you have some other ones is kind of crazy 350,000 must have a house or something but yeah I mean you can kind of see the 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 um, you know the value of the property and here are the different options that you can purchase the property if you like uh, option one option a is a discounted cash price okay so um, right here um, I'm asking for seventy four ninety nine for the property, and there's a two hundred fifty dollar document doc, document fee. Okay, and let me just make sure it's working. Okay, yeah, this is where you fill the information and stuff like that if you decide to move forward with this. Um, I also offer two um, finance options: B and C. Okay, one ninety two eighty two a month. And then one fifty four twenty seven dollars a month. Okay, here are the details. Um, if you're interested, and all transactions are protected with bank level security. So if you're interested in purchasing this property, you can actually just go ahead and and click on the button and check out and fill out your information. Everything is all secure. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, and on the bottom here. Um, these are addition. These are pictures of the property. Uh, you can click on the thumbnails, and it'll enlarge and give you a better perspective of, you know, the properties. I also included some maps, um, and you know, different places within the area. And I added the miles on there so you kind of know where everything is. Okay. There's a volcano winery. If you're into wine, they want a lot of awards for their wine. Okay. And property details. This is where um, everything you need to know about the property. This is straight from the county website. And right here, this is the GPS. You can click on here and to open up a Google Maps if you decide to visit the property first. Okay. And like I said, this is pretty much it. Um, you know, if you have any questions, you can contact me at 702-751-5686. Or you can, you know, contact me here. There's a little instant chat box. Um, I, I'm usually online. Okay. And then, or you can shoot me an email right here. You know, with your name and email and the property ID. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll talk to you soon.